want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. It's a combination lock. Let's head back inside. Okay. I guess let's go and rescue the other guy first. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. We'll sit tight. Okay. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole. But, you know. Yeah. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And the violence before with my dad? That didn't help. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? 
I work up at UTA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more... of them. I mean, Jesus. You need to stick together and get through this. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you! Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh. You guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with the sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Hey, Carly. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps or, or ghouls or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. things notice us not yet there's a survivor trapped up there no way we gotta go now listen i was out here looking for gas and then up there in the corner room i heard crying coming from inside who is it it's a girl we talked and she got frightened i was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying i was bitten i tried to convince her i wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest a couple almost got me and i ended up hiding in the ice machine lucky you now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine, let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Okay, right now I'm trying to remember how this goes, but I've done this once. Yeah, it's boarded up. 
So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly, noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. attracting the others. Their crawling attracts the others. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. See the spark plug. The whistle inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Scramble brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. I said the furthest I ever did was episode one. Yeah. <laughs> 